if you woke up this morning thinking to yourself, you know what, I'm in the mood to talk about vintage Prada bags, then this is the right place for you. Hi, my name is Aria, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Here we talk about luxury on a budget. And a quick note before we get started on our Prada journey, uh, that I'm going to be changing the name of this channel um, sometime in the near future. Uh, so keep an eye out for the name change. It will no longer be Ugly Duckly Fashion Blog. It will be some version of my own name. So stay tuned. So today we'll be talking about two bags that I have in my collection, uh, both vintage Prada, doing a sort of a review, pros and cons about each bag. Starting with the very first Prada bag that I ever got, and I purchased this from eBay. Now I've had this bag in my collection for about 20 years. I remember when this bag came out in the 90s and it was really unusual because at that point in time, Prada was doing more of the, the classic nylon, that sort of silhouette. And, and I, I wasn't really into the, the nylon bag. Um, I know they were very popular. And if you do have one of those bags or the reedition bags, let me know. Maybe I'm, I'm missing out on something. But at, at that point in time, I wasn't really interested in or, or I have the money to purchase one of those bags. And I remember when this came out, and I, I, I absolutely loved it. I, I loved the, the color of the leather and this, this jeweled case, this, I mean, jeweled clasp. But again, I, I did not have the money to purchase this bag when it first came out. So when I found it on eBay years later, I was absolutely thrilled. And I'm probably paying about $300 for it back, back in the day. So again, like 2001, 2002. And I know that they're still available. I've seen these on eBay and the Real Real uh, and Poshmark. Uh, maybe not this, this color, coloration, but some other types of the same bag, some other varieties. So if you are interested in this bag, they're definitely still available. And actually probably a cheaper price than I pay for it. And so looking at the bag, we have this uh, beautiful, very soft brown. It is a textured leather. It is a beautiful leather. And something that I did not know when I first purchased the bag, I just found out that this is either a crocodile or alligator uh, right here. So if you are considering looking for this on the vintage markets and you don't want to purchase an exotic leather, uh, just be aware that this is exotic. So we have the product class and this is very easy to open. Just drop that down. It is leather lined and we have one zipper pocket here and that space. So this bag is it, sort of, it's funny because it looks bigger than it is. Uh, on the outside here, you can see that it's, it's a typical size bag. Uh, it's, it's when you go to access your things inside, but I run into some, some difficulties. So due to the shape of the opening, it's hard to get your hand in there to access your belongings. So I, I, I try not to fill it up too much because if I'm in a hurry, like, or I'm at like a, a checkout line at the grocery store, and I don't want to be sort of fumbling for things, I've got people waiting behind me, I want to just grab and go. So that is a problem with this bag. Now this, uh, this is a shoulder bag, but the, there are these clasps here. You can take this off and carry it as a clutch if you want. I think that's my main issue with this bag. It just, it looks bigger than it actually is due to the way that you can sort of access things inside. Uh, overall, it's a, it's a great bag. I mean, I've had it for over 20 years. I once heard another person on YouTube saying that they, they thought that Prada bags were not good for everyday bags. They don't really have the, the durability, the usability. And I'm inclined to agree. I would not say that this is an everyday bag. Uh, but it's definitely, I mean, this bag, before I had this bag, it was already probably five or six years old. So this bag is probably 25, maybe almost 30 years old. And it looks, you know, it's fine. So obviously there is some durability, but probably not an everyday bag. And next up, we have a vintage Prada tote bag. I got this from the Real Real about two years ago. And as you can see, it has these wonderful sort of rivets in a, like a, a decorative pattern and these crystals. 
It's definitely an eye-catching bag. The back it has uh, a pocket. We'll get back to this because there's a problem there. We do have uh, two handles. Now this did come with a strap. If you can see those uh, silver bindings. So the strap is supposed to attach to that. I'm not quite sure how tall you would have to be to successfully wear this as a crossbody bag, but it was <laughs> way too big for me, so I, I just carry it. Now this is, this is a heavy bag, so even though it carries a lot of stuff, even with that stuff in it, it's already kind of heavy, so you sort of have to moderate what you're going to put in there. So as I said before, we have this pocket back there. This pocket has been ripped. Now, I, I purchased the bag and, and this, this, this was how it arrived, so I've not used the pocket, but that was ripped when I got it. Part of logo, and we have two zippers here on each side, carrying more of your stuff. And this is a nice tote bag because it actually does close, not like some of those open tote bags, which drive me crazy. We have a zipper pocket here, as well as this extra pocket and a deep well. So you can really fit quite a bit of stuff in here. And here is a, a visual for you so that you sort of see how big this bag is. It's a, uh, it's, it's definitely a good size bag. I do like the distressed look of it. I do find that it's a, a good bag. I am glad I got it. I'm not planning to sell it. To me, the pros are uh, its appearance, its uh, versatility, and definitely a good bag if you need to carry a lot of stuff. The cons are, again, I'm not quite sure about the quality of construction with both of these bags. And another con, at least just for me, is it's just really heavy to carry. Maybe that wouldn't be an issue for you. I, I occasionally do find this bag or varieties of this bag i see them again on the Real Real and eBay and Poshmark. So if you are feeling like this would be a good bag for you, you can check out those spaces. Someone has a lot to say today. <laughs> it keeps it keeps interrupting mom. Uh, so do you have uh, do you have a, a product bag that you you do find to be good for every day? I'd be curious about your thoughts. Maybe you have a new product bag, one of the reedition ones. Uh, maybe you have hi. Maybe you have a vintage bag. Um, what are your thoughts? So thank you for joining me and Finley today. We so appreciate your time. As always, be happy, be healthy, be empowered, and most importantly, this is your best part. <laughs> be you. Take care. See you next time. Bye.